Disability History, Panel 9, 1880 through 1897 A.D. Persons with developmental disabilities are made scapegoats for many of society's problems. Responses to disability, incarceration, sterilization, blame people with disabilities for social problems. Involvement by people with disabilities, victims of forced sterilizations and incarceration. Medical Viewpoint Using the case history of a resident in his institution called Deborah Kalikak, Kalikak being a fictitious name taken from the Greek words for good and bad, Dr. Henry Goddard learned that her great-grandfather, Martin, was a revolutionary war soldier of normal intelligence who had relations with a feeble-minded barmaid, producing a child. Later, Martin returned home to Philadelphia where he married a woman of the upper class. From this history, Goddard traced the lineage of Martin Kalikak's upper class family, finding only successful, upstanding individuals of normal or better intelligence. Of Martin's lineage through his offspring with the barmaid, Goddard found criminals, prostitutes and vagabonds, people of below normal intelligence. As American professionals were calling for sterilization, Nazi Germany was blaming people with disabilities for wasting valuable resources. Medical Viewpoint One case of sterilization came before the Supreme Court concerning a woman labeled feeble-minded. Those who brought her to court produced a family tree, showing that the girl was already in the third generation of people with limited intelligence. Chief Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes proclaimed three generations of imbeciles are enough, and he ordered sterilization. Later studies proved that the woman was in fact not feeble-minded and that her family tree was concocted. Medical Viewpoint Goddard's conclusion, which he published in his widely read book The Calicac Family, was that mental retardation is the root cause of many of our social problems, and that it is hereditary. Although his research methods were questionable, the book told many people what they wanted to believe, that people with disabilities could ruin their genetic strain. Connection to different time in history. Similar research was published by other professionals, including Hill Folk by Davenport and Danielson, The Dak Family by Finlayson and Mongolian Virginians, The Wind Tribe by Estabrook and McDougall. The Almost, a study of the feeble-mindedness, was a popular text for emerging special educators. The Almost referred to the people with mental retardation as being almost human. These studies supported similar conclusions to Goddard's research and further stigmatized people with disabilities and their families. Not until many years later was Goddard's research rejected as invalid. Connection to different time in history. The eugenic research of superintendents in the U.S. had a direct influence on attitudes towards people with disabilities in Nazi Germany. Medical Viewpoint Billed as a eugenic photo play, this 1917 movie was taken from the headlines and even featured the real Dr. Hazelden, who refused to operate to save the lives of disabled infants. This controversy highlighted the public's fear of disability and the power of doctors to choose who should live or die. Stereotype. During the genetic scare of the 1920s, People with developmental disabilities were often the objects of fear, believed to be driven by rage and intent upon harming others. The fear of persons with physical deformities has long been popular in the media, with figures such as Quasimodo, Captain Hook, Dr. Strangelove, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman. In addition to typecasting persons with disabilities as villains, this stereotype contributes to our fear of persons with disabilities living in the community. Medical Viewpoint 
A popular belief at this time was that mental retardation and mental illness were completely genetic and were the cause of most, if not all, social ills. Poverty, drunkenness, prostitution, crime, and violence. The response was to segregate or sterilize all of these people so that they could not reproduce their evil habits and destroy the gene pool. Medical viewpoint. In reaction to misguided fears about persons with developmental disabilities and as a means of social control, the eugenics movement led to tens of thousands of forced sterilizations. As demand increased, institutions continued to grow larger and become more crowded. Connection to different time in history. This overcrowding continued well into the 1970s. 